Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me for another one of my paper and ink sketches. So today we are working on Sketch 6, and you'll be able to download all the information. Um, you can find the information on my blog or um, in the description box. But here you can see that I have kind of switched up the orientation of the card, which is great because that's what sketches are all about. You just take that, get an idea, and then you can change it up to however you want it to be. So you see here that I've made a Christmas card. This is kind of more of a masculine Christmas card, which I really am excited to show you. Um, I'm using a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock, and I've cut that down to an A2 size card, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And I'm going to use it um, in the portrait mode. Here I am using the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series paper stack, and I'm going to show you all the different. Um, colors that are in the collection. So you see Basic Black, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, um, Delightful Dijon, Garden Green, and Whisper White. You get 48 sheets for each of 12 double-sided designs. So this is our 6x6 six six paper stack. And here I'm just showing you all the different um, patterns that are in this stack. So you see that it has more of a masculine feel to it, which is really nice. Some traditional Christmas patterns, but at the same time, some things that are definitely that you can use for boys or for men that you need to make some Christmas cards for. Okay, so I'm starting off with a piece of crumb cake cardstock, and that measures four by two, and I am using the Greetings from Santa stamp set. I'm using just those stars to make a background um, on this. I'm using Tip Top Toe. Now, I could have used Crumb Cake, but I was wanting it to be a little bit more bolder, so that's where I decided to use the Tip Top Toe, which gave me exactly the look that I was going for. So I'm just going to put a scratch piece of paper under that um, cardstock so that I'll be able to stamp off to give it a more natural look. So when you um, stamp the uh, the small pattern, just kind of rotate the stamp that you and you see me doing that here, and just go off. Make sure that you go off where it looks like it's naturally uh, moving from left to right. And you'll just repeat that on the entire piece of cardstock. And it's really easy to fill in if you see some gaps. Just kind of rotate the stamp, and then you can go in and um, fill in those parts that um, need a little bit more uh, color. Okay. And I'm not sure if I gave you the dimensions for the designer series paper. That's going to measure four by uh, three and three quarters. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere that onto the front of the card base, just making sure that the bottom and the sides uh, just have a quarter of an inch border showing. And you're going to see here that when I put the designer series paper that there's a gap, but I'm not worried about that because I'm going to cover that gap with some ribbon. So if you have um, that same gap, don't worry about it. If you don't like that gap, then you'll just want to um, just add, it's probably like a quarter of an inch to the length on, on one of those, um, either the cardstock or the, or the designer series paper. Okay, so I'm just using my snail. Um, I'm going to adhere this to the card base, and you see me lining it up with the grid lines. This is just helping me make sure that I get that creme cake piece of cardstock on there straight. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the uh, DSP. So again, just making sure that it's lining up with the crumb cake cardstock as well as matching the borders on um, the top and the two sides. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm going to use a piece of the Delightful Dijon Ribbon. And if you saw my video on Monday, my Create a Card Monday, I used the Mint Macaron. This is the trio pack from the Petals and Paisley's um, collection. 
and I raved about the ribbon and I'm going to rave about it again. It's just such a nice quality ribbon. So if you have overlooked this, um, you can think you can find it on page 47. Uh, take a look at it or if you just didn't think it was necessary, I definitely consider um, getting this for your little ribbon collection. I think you'll really be happy with it. The colors are pretty and uh, it just adds the right amount of color that I was wanting for this card. So like I said, I'm just covering up that gap where the cardstock and the pattern paper didn't meet, but you would never know now. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just trim off the sides where it lays flush against each side. It's a great ribbon because it doesn't fray, which I really like. All right, so I'm going to put the card off to the side, and now I'm going to do my stamping. Um, I am using three different colors for today's card. I'm um, Well, first of all, I'm using the Sweet Seasons. This is in our holiday catalog. You can find that on page uh, 23. Not 23, I apologize. You can find that on page 43. So the three colors that I'm using are Delightful Dijon, Cherry Cobbler, and Garden Green. And those are colors that I've picked from the, um, I'm pulling those colors from the collection of the Warmth and Cheer Designer Series paper. So I'm using my little mini Misty because I'm going to do the three colors. I've just got a scratch piece of Whisper White cardstock. I think that's like three by three. And I'm just going to mask off um, parts of the stamp. I find um, using the Misty extremely easy when I'm wanting to do multiple colors on stamping. So I'm just using some post-it note masking tape. It's not masking tape, but post-it note tape, I should say. But it's great for masking. And you'll see here that I'm going to ink up the, um, the leaves, the little leaf, the leaf, the bow, and the bottom, and then the Mary Everything in two different colors. And uh, it's really easy to do it this way. So here I'm doing that in Garden Green. Just making sure I'm getting good coverage. And now I'm going to use Delightful Dijon and ink up the Mary Everything. And as I was saying a little bit earlier, I'm not sure if I finished my thought, this is just a really nice masculine um, Christmas card. You know, sometimes we may have um, male friends who, uh, you know, aren't married or, you know, they're, they're obviously that are single. That, and uh, sometimes, you know, the cards are a little bit more feminine. Um, these colors just, uh, I just really liked how it came out. And uh, I thought this would be perfect for any guy that... Uh, may not be married and is, is single, but you can still send Christmas cards too. All right, so you see the two different colors, and I got a little bit of Delightful Dijon right there, but I'm not worried about it because Cherry Cobbler is such an intense, uh, highly pigmented ink that it will, <laughs> it will cover it up. All right, so now I'm just going to mask off um, the uh, parts that I, the little bow and the Mary everything so that the cherry cobbler doesn't get on those parts and just repeat the same step. So now I'm just going to ink up the uh, happy always had to think what that said, reading it backwards. And make sure when you do this to always remove your post-it notes. Um, I've, <laughs> I've seen quite a few people mask off and then stamp and leave it on there and it ruins your project. So just make sure to remove the paper. And then just uh, closing the Misty again. And voila! Isn't it magic? I feel like this is almost like when I heat emboss and the powder melts. I get the same, the same reaction. I just love having multiple colors on my stamps. 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our layering squares framelits. And I've got um, the two sizes that coordinate. One's a scallop square, and then one's just a plain square. I cut out the scallop square and crumb cake already. And then I'm going to take the plain square and cut out the, um, the stamp sentiment where it will fit perfectly on that uh, scallop square. So just use your Big Shot die cut machine. And there you go, you see that? And see how it just layers perfectly and just has just a little bit of a scallop border showing. So I'm just going to use Snail to adhere that. I'm sorry for my head getting in the way. All right, so now I'm going to bring the card back in. Oh, I guess I needed to put a little bit more adhesive on there. There we go. So I bring in the card back in, and I'm going to adhere that using dimensionals. And it's going in the lower part of the card. So it just straddles the ribbon. So just remove the backing sheets of your dimensionals and then just um, pop that up in the card and you just want to have that the stamped sentiment centered um, in the card. On the card, I should say. There we go. And then the next thing I did, I just felt like it needed a finishing touch. I'm using that bow from our mini treat bag um, thinlets. And I've cut that out in Delightful Dijon, and I'm just going to adhere that to the uh, the side, the right side of the stamp sentiment. I'm using the fine tip glue pen, and I'm just going to put glue on one side of the bow because I'm going to have it hanging off. So it kind of gives the appearance that um, I tied it, you know, where it coordinates with the ribbon. I love how our ribbon and paper and inks and everything like that match. So it, it's just all just a nice little uh, cohesive looking card. And then that's it. So I hope you liked today's project. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can see just the subtle difference that I used with um, today's sketch. Um, but like I said, you will be able to download the project sheet um, on my blog or in the description box and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.